Good day viewers, my name is Darlington Okoka and I welcome you to Dell with Electrical YouTube channel. Today, we are going to be discussing on how to connect inverter batteries both in series and in parallel. Last week, we talked about connection of batteries in parallel. This, period, this week, we talked about connection of batteries in series. And today, we want to be seeing how you can connect batteries both in series and in parallel. Why is this very important? This is important in the sense that most, uh, most inverter batteries we have are usually 24 volts, 48 volts. You use them in your houses. And 24 volts means that you are going to connect two batteries in series. 48 volts also means that you are going to connect four batteries in series. But that does not mean that the storage capacity is that two batteries. So there are instances you want your battery to last you for 24 hours. You want it to last you forever in as much as you are adding more loads to it. So in that case, you want to add more batteries and increase the storage so by the time you're adding more batches and increasing the storage if you want per eventually you have 24 volts i want to add four batches invariably if you connect all of them you see that's 48 volts but there are some techniques you have to do to ensure that this battery that you're connecting is not actually 48 volt but it's 24 volt that you require also there are also some 48 volt inverter that 48 volt inverter means that you're going to connect four batches in series but there are instances too whereby you want to increase the storage capacity and you want eight batches, you want 12 batches, you want in 444 increment, you want 16 batches. So if you connect those, there are techniques you need to connect those 16 batches together so as to get the same voltage that is equivalent to the inverter that you are using. So now let us see a 24 volt system and you want four batteries. Let's see how we are going to connect it. In this example, we are going to be using a software to carry out this particular. I want to ensure that you go through it carefully and see how this is going to be. So, all right, on my screen now, we are going to be seeing that we have four batteries, but the inverter we want to connect to is 24 volts. That means 24 volts is not supposed to take more than two batteries. So in that four batteries, we are going to connect them in two, two pairs. So how are we going to connect them in two pairs? If you connect, this is battery one, and this battery is 12, nine volts. So you change it to 12 volts. And this is battery two. This is also nine volts. You change it to twelve volts. So you have these two batteries together. So for you to get twenty-four volts, you have to connect these two batteries inward in series. So you take this, you rotate it. You take this, you rotate it because negative must miss positive in series connection. So you have it this way. Then you have the output. You have the output. So this is this is the first set of the two batteries. So you also have to take another set of batteries again. This is another set, battery three, battery four. So these are the four batteries you want to connect to your inverter. So you, this is a nine, you change it to 12 volts, you change this also to 12 volts. All right, so this one, this one now is uh, two batteries. So you have to connect this again in series. You rotate this, you rotate this. Then you connect that. This is negative. You connect this negative to positive. All right, so this is, you can see now that we have one output here, positive output. We have under output, positive output, negative output, right? So this is a negative output, this is a positive output, this is a negative output for the first set. This is so what you are going to do invariably is to connect, this is um, this is series, this is series. So the output of the two now become what? You connect them in parallel. So positive to positive. If you connect this positive now to this positive, you connect this positive, this negative to this negative automatically you now have a output but now we don't want to do it that way we want to put a vote meter in between so what do we do let's delete this let's delete it we already know that this output are coming together so let's put instead of taking the inverter let's just put our output or okay let's leave it we will still understand it here here 
So we can actually put our inverter here if we want it. If we don't want it, we can now we can leave it. Normally we put our inverter, our measuring device here. So let's take our measuring device. We'll go to measuring. We'll take voltmeter, bring it here. See the positives on the right, we'll rotate it. So for us to be safe, let's just delete it and cut. But you know that if this is your inverter, you have to loop them before you take an output. But because we are now using a direct system, we'll take this one here. We take this one here. So all of them are coming here. So we take this one here. We take this one here. So this is our voltage. So let's let's run this and see what we are going to get. We've connected this one in series. We've connected this one in series. The output is connected in parallel. The output is connected in parallel. So let's run it and you can see. So our output now is still 24 volt system. That is to show you that when you connect batteries in series, you this one is series 24 volt, this one is series 24 volt, and you connect them in parallel, it's not additive, it's still going to give you your 24 volt system. So the same thing too, if you connect four batteries, maybe your inverter system too is still going to be four batteries, it's still going to also give us the same thing that we're going. So in this system again, let's just add additional two batteries and like a 48 volt system. So for a 48 volt system, we need four batteries. We take the first battery, we take the second battery, and we take the third battery, and we take the fourth battery. Now we need to change them to 12 volts. So we change this to 12 volts. Change this to 12 volts. Change this to 12 volts. Then change this to 12 volts. So they are all 12, 12 volt batteries. You rotate this because you want to connect them in series. Rotate this, you connect them in series. Rotate this because you want to connect them in series. Then rotate this because you want to connect them in series. So now connect your positive to negative. Connect your positive to negative. Connect your positive to negative. So positive to negative, all these are now in series. So you take your other set of four batteries this is battery five battery six battery seven and battery eight you're also going to connect them in series so you have to change them again to 12 volts changes to 12 volts changes to 12 volts changes to 12 volts all right so you have to rotate them again to rotate this to rotate this and rotate this then you connect them also in series connect them in series so you see that we have two set of series connection so the output of this will connect to the output of this the output of this will connect to the output of this then at the middle you connect them to an inverter so but since the inverter is not here let's just connect our measuring device which is our voltmeter we bring in our voltmeter here since the positive is on the left hand side we rotate it to the left hand side so what we do the negative output here we connect it then this negative we connect it at this junction point same thing to the negative here we connect it here the positive sorry the positive then we connect it here. So by the time we are done, you cannot simulate. When you simulate, you cannot see that this is 48 volt that is coming out here. So in, irrespective of how you connect your battery, once you connect them in series, the voltages are additive. You connect them in, in parallel, the voltages are constant. So even if you want 16 batteries, and that 16 battery, you need 48 volts, you just want to increase the storage, you have to connect them 4, 4, 4 into 4 places. Then the output, positive to positive, negative to negative. And you still get your 48 volts so i believe i've been able to educate you on how to connect your battery both in series and parallel please if this video has been useful to you kindly click the subscribe button so as to get notified when our subsequent videos are being posted on this channel see you in our subsequent video thank you